my fifth day in Scotland, I only had a visit to Akintoshan Distillery on my itinerary for the day, but then I was informed that a new distillery had been built in Glasgow, Clydeside Distillery. It's about 9 miles and 21 minutes from Akintoshan, located on the west side of Glasgow along the river Clyde. So, with nothing else planned for the day, I thought I'd check it out. When I visited the distillery on June 19th, 2018, it was in operation for production and it was open for tours, but their inaugural release was not yet for sale. So in this video, I'll only provide a preview of the production facility. The Clydeside Distillery Tour begins in the Visitor Center with an interactive whiskey experience where visitors can make their way through 140 years of history brought to life through film, pictures, and words as part of a self-led or guided tours. The distillery seeks to employ traditional methods to produce their whiskey, yet with the most modern technology. The distillery received its planning approval in 2014, and then it changed its name from Glasgow Distillery and Visitor Center to Clydeside Distillery in 2016, and then opened to the public on November 23, 2017. The new distillery is a project of Tim Morrison, formerly of Morrison Beaumar Distillers. Clydeside is based inside the converted pump house building that sits on the site formerly known as the Queen's Dock, which was built by Morrison's great-grandfather and was once one of Glasgow's most famous shipping ports. Clydeside Distillery is producing a lowland single malt using two copper stills crafted by Forsyth of Moray. The stills are surrounded by glass overlooking the Clyde River. There's also a tasting room, but when I visited, they were not pouring any of their own whiskey because it wasn't ready yet, but rather blind representatives, that is unnamed whiskeys from Isla and the Highlands. They also have a whiskey shop and a cafe where I ate lunch after the tour. They did sell the new make, uh, 77 pounds for a 200 milliliter bottle, which I thought was a bit steep, and it's bottled at 63.5% alcohol by volume as that is the level at which it is commonly traded or sold to blended whiskey producers. What I did not see during the tour, nor was it mentioned, was any maturation cask warehouses. However, I did find this picture on the internet. So, will they be bottling their own whiskey, or will they only be selling their spirit to other producers? Um, for I saw uh, many other brands sold uh, in their store. Anyhow, still a little bit of mystery about this distillery and more to look forward to uh, in the future. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed my little preview of Clydeside Distillery. I was debating whether or not I should do this video because I would prefer to do a video when I could also review their whiskey, but since they're brand new and it's not been released yet, uh, I'm unable to do so. So this has been just a preview. Um, when you um, visit, you get a little glass just like this, and they pour you a couple drams of uh, whiskeys that are unnamed, not one of their own, um, just so you get a little glimpse of what a Highland whiskey, uh, um, an Isla whiskey is like. This is for the tourists who are visiting Glasgow and want to learn a little about um, Scotland and uh, whiskeys. So, and that's okay. Um, but I would prefer to have something from them and full, give a full review of that. So, um, it'll probably be a few years. They did not have a date as to when their first release would be available. Um, I would imagine from the time of the posting of this video, be at least another two years. Um, so if you're in the area, should you visit Clydeside? Would I recommend visiting Clydeside? If you happen to be in the area um, and you've got the time, sure, I would go ahead and visit it. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be a little sunnier than when I was there. We had some overcast. Um, I think the next day it actually rained. I think I had one, one full day of rain during my visit to Scotland. Um, but if you're planning a trip to Scotland um, and you're trying to fit things into your itinerary, 
would I make a special effort to go there? Um, I would say not until they have had their first release and you can actually taste their actual whiskey. In my opinion, it's better to wait. It's just a little bit uh, premature. Not that I didn't enjoy or benefit uh, or little uh, learn a little bit uh, from the tour. I just think right now you're sort of looking at, at a baby before it's been born, really. But since I, I was in the area, I'd already visited one distillery, uh, Alcantoshan in, in Glasgow, and I didn't have anything else planned for the day. Sure, why not? Short little drive, why not? Um, I think it's a beautiful distillery. They have a beautiful view uh, of Clyde uh, River, the River Clyde, from the stills. I think that's just a spectacular view there. Um, and the cafe was nice. Um, and then they also have a little whiskey shop there, so you can do a sh little shopping as well. All right, so I hope you, you enjoyed this video. My next video will be on um, taking a class at the Scotch Whiskey Experience. And then from there, I'll be heading off to Deanston, Oban, and then to Isla. And until next time, cheers. If you have benefited from my wine or whiskey studies and you wish to support this ongoing work, I ask that you become a Patreon supporter. The link to my Patreon account is in the description box below. Music